Hey there, YouTube here with episode 2 of Super Cool World. Uh, first world was pretty easy, so I'm hoping this gets harder. I think it will. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I really like this so far. It's a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see what's coming up. <clears throat> Alright. This is a really good song, by the way. Alright, Ballistic Boneyard. Let's see what it is. Okay. Man, that torpedo's really slow. Okay, that was pretty simple. Okay. Oh shoot. Checkpoint. Alright. <laughs> okay, we one shot most of that. It was uh, not too difficult. Oh yeah, okay. Use the bullet. That was not too difficult. That was really bad. Whew, barely made that. Okay, that was a little blind, but you could, uh, you could tell where it was going to be based off of the, um, like you, you saw it initially being shot, so you could track it with your mind or whatever. Hello? Oh my god. What up, dolphin dudes? I like the yellow dolphins, by the way. Ah. Uh, Yeah, that's a really tight jump. I was surprised I got that first try. Dude, those torpedoes are so slow in this. I'm used to them being way faster than that. A lot of doors in this level. By the way, um, typically in an SMW, if you jump, so if I'm holding a shell like that, and I land on an enemy like a Koopa or bullet, whatever, usually uh, it's essentially random whether you, um, so like sometimes it'll bounce like that and other times it will, the item you're holding will kill the enemy you bounced off of and then you're screwed. Uh, I think it has to do with whether you land on it on an odd or even frame, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it seems this game has a patch that fixes that because I'm getting it every time, which is good, because if it didn't, that part would be very frustrating. Ah, uh, that was bad.
Uh... Yeah, this is fine. Also, what's the deal with the hand that comes down and throws these torpedoes? Looks like Mickey Mouse or something. Whew, nice. I'm an idiot. I thought I had to... <sighs> Dumb. Like, whose hand is that? I swear, it looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I mean, the skinny black arm and the white glove? Like, who else would it be? Okay, so I want to shell jump, then bounce off the thing. Then go over. I thought I had to shell jump, then go over, then bounce off the thing, but no, that's not it. Nice. Uh, that was pretty, that was pretty, wasn't much harder than the first world. I guess it was a little harder, but not too much different. <clears throat> Rotten Hollow. This has two exits. Okay. Let's do it. Whoa, that is slippery. Okay. This is weird looking. I guess I can't get up there. Okay. Dude, I hate ice physics. <laughs> in Mario World, um, if you put ice physics in the level, everything is slippery. Those moving platforms, uh, anything Mario can stand on essentially is slippery. It's so annoying. I think even if I had a damage boost and I landed on the muncher, it would be slippery. Oh, I got blocked. Also, I need to be on the lookout for the secret exit. I don't know if it will be like hidden or it'll just be like in plain sight. People do it differently. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, you could potentially ride those fireballs back to the left for a secret. <clears throat> but also, maybe not. Whoa, it got laggy. But I got a checkpoint. Dude, it's really laggy here. I don't know if it's because of the aesthetics or what. Okay. Okay, that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm probably dead. Okay, I needed to go down to that winged platform. That part's really cool. Uh, that's... that's tight. There we go. Oh my god. I don't even know how it... I should have died before that, at least I thought.
Oh my god, it keeps... Oh, that's the end. It keeps looking like I'm not gonna make that. That is the end, but we still need the secret exit, so maybe it is hidden, because I haven't seen it yet. I feel like secret exits are always before checkpoints, but maybe not? Alright, so... <clears throat> found the main exit. I didn't see the secret. So I guess we'll just do it again and look for it. It could be anywhere, like just fall down and... Hey, look, a pipe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to... Hey, look, a key. Okay, that's probably where it is. go. Found both exits. Nice. So which one do I do? <laughs> I guess this is the secret exit, so maybe... I don't know. We'll just... we'll do this one and see what happens. I don't really know. seen a thwimp moving like that. Wow, okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm used to everything being ice. It's not ice anymore. Interesting. Okay, this is the first time I remember seeing Yoshi. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if Yoshi bounces off this dude or I just... I didn't see the muncher. Ah, oh, yeah, my main complaint with this game is the aesthetics. Like, it looks great, but... I don't know, maybe I'm colorblind or something? I'm, like, struggling in a lot of the levels to see all the hazards. does bounce off that. Ugh, nice, checkpoint. <laughs> Whoops. Yoshi is fine walking on most spikes, but these green ones 
Okay, uh, remove him. Also, some sprites will stick to these outlined blocks. Oh. Okay, I think I get it. Okay, this is kind of neat. I have no idea what I was supposed to do there. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this is cool. What the heck? This is crazy. Okay, this is, uh... This is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen. It reminds me of, um... In Grand Pooh World 2, the level where you stop time with the clock or whatever. Uh. Wow, this section's really awesome. Oh, I had to grab the vine. <sighs> Shoot. I thought I could just... Okay. Almost there. GG. Nice. Dude, that was really cool. That whole uh, item getting stuck or whatever, that was awesome. So where is this? Okay, Switch Palace. So yeah, this is... okay. Palace of Light. What do you have for me? I remember this song from Quickie World. Very interesting. Color palette choice. Oh, he didn't grab. Sometimes he doesn't grab the fence, even though I'm holding up. I think it has to do if you're like against a wall or something, he won't grab it, maybe. There we go. I guess I can land up there. Yeah. Okay. Why is this here? Oh, you can't go in it. What the heck? <laughs> Yum. 
Congratulations, you pressed a button. Apparently it turned block into block, which is important, I guess. Cool. That was kind of cool. One for one on yumps as well, so that's good. Okay, so now I guess we're going the correct way. Spectral Sanctum. Oh boy. Ghost houses are usually kind of trolly, puzzly, so... Tip. All eeries in this level can be respawned, I think. What do you mean you think? Okay, so that switches the one-way gate direction. Like little tiny one-ways, it looks funny. <laughs> this is a good song. Wait, I just went in a circle. That was really bad. Okay, I think that's what I do there. Whoa! Let them despawn. Okay. Uh. Okay. Ah, I guess do a bigger jump there. Okay. Uh, okay, they should be able to be able to be respawned, yeah. It just keeps coming back. Okay. Oh shoot, boss fight. So that ghost ch chain, whatever you call it, it can hit me even if um, it's like grayed out or whatever. I think, I think that's what's happening. Nice. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. Fitting and super cool world. <laughs> um, I like that boss fight. 
Alright. Okay, I think that is going to end it here. That's essentially the end of World 2, I guess. They're not marked, but you can kind of tell. Also, I want to go in here because this music says... This song is a banger. Um... Well, yeah, the game's definitely picking up in difficulty. It's not getting too intense. Uh, the fortress was really awesome. Like, that was... I like that a lot. Uh, the rest of it's kind of vanilla, you know? Like, just a lot of platforming, occasional shell jump. Um, but the fortress was pure custom stuff. That's what I love about Mario World. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I post one of these every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, so... If you're interested, uh, check it out. But yeah, thanks so much, and see you next time.